I just came in with this still with One of the greatest benefits that um, we've seen in the classrooms is just student motivation. They are excited about where they are, doesn't matter the content or what they're focusing on, and they're excited about the growth that they're seeing. They're very much a part of the learning process, um, and they're, they're just excited to see themselves grow and share that information. I think the student ownership piece has been prevalent throughout the building and I think that even teachers who are not in the pilot are gleaning some of those ideas from those teachers who are in the pilot. I think another thing that stands out is the learning progression. So we know where students are supposed to go and we know where they are, but what are those benchmarks along the way and how can we move them along that path? Very good. Your eyes are on your work. It's your eyes are on the uh, focus, the type of feedback that teachers are providing classroom. students um, so that it is more tightly aligned with the progression and where they need to go. So I would say instructional approaches and the conversations that occur are more targeted. Some of the benefits I've seen in the classroom have been the way teachers interact with their students. Uh, they're much more engaged. The children are much more engaged. I mean, you can see the learning taking place as they go through the process. Very often, it's just a matter of how the teacher questions the child and how the child stops to think about the question, and then the light goes on. And it's made uh, instruction much more individual. Uh, teachers so are much more tuned in to the individual needs of each child oh, in the well, classroom. We also, I want the children enjoy sure. learning more. I, I think we've observed benefits in all of the members' classrooms so far, um, including my own. Um, I'm enjoying using them, the kids are responsive to them, and it's really making us think and improve our teaching. I know in my class in particular, um, just the focus on making the learning goals and success criteria student-friendly from the beginning of the class uh, helps. I used to write an SOL on the board at the beginning of the day. Now I write a, an I will or an I can statement, and I'd write one for each subject area that we're doing that day. And then the students read them with me. We reflect on whether or not we know them, so I always have them do like a self-reflection before each lesson, and then at the end, we reflect again and see if we improved. I think just changing that in my classroom, for example, has has kept us more focused and the students check me too because I tell them if I'm teaching something else besides what's on the board then you need to stop me because those are our learning goals for today and you have to do this to be successful so I need to get you there so if I'm not doing it you help me out too.